Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer for Monday, 16 September 2024, 17th Sunday after Pentecost, proper 19. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have light of life. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 64 and 65 Hear my voice, O God, when I complain. Protect my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the mob of evildoers. They sharpen their tongue like a sword, and aim their bitter words like arrows, that they may shoot down the blameless from ambush. They shoot without warning, and are not afraid. They hold fast to the evil course. They plan how they ha may hide their snares. They say, who will see us? Who will find out our crimes? We have thought out a perfect plot. The human mind and heart are a mystery, but God will lose an arrow at them, and suddenly they will be wounded. He will make them trip over their tongues, and all who see them will shake their heads. Everyone will stand in awe and declare God's deeds. They will recognize His works. The righteous will rejoice in the Lord and put their trust in Him. And all who are true of heart will glory. You are to be praised, O God and Zion. To you shall vows be performed in Jerusalem. To you that hear prayers shall all flesh come because of their transgressions. Our sins are stronger than we are, but you will blot them out. Happier they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. They will be satisfied by the beauty of your house, by the holiness of your temple. Or some things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth, and of the seas that we are far away. You make fast the mountains by your power, they are girded about with might. You, stu you still the roaring of the seas, the roarings of the, their waves, and the clamor of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth will tremble at your marvelous signs. You make the dawn and the dusk to sing for joy. You visit the earth and water it abundantly and make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare the grain, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furious and smooth out the edges. With heavy rain, you soften the ground and bless it, its increase. You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths overflow with plenty. May the fields of the wilderness be rich for grazing, and the hills be clothed with joy. May the meadows cover themselves with flocks, and the valleys cloak themselves with grain. Let them shout for joy and sing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now it shall be. Amen. First reading is taken from 1 Kings chapter 21, verse 1 to 16. Later the following events took place. Nabut, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel. Besides the palace of King Ahab of Samaria, and Ahab said to Nabut, Give me your vineyard so that I may have it for a vin vegetable garden because it is near my house. I will give you a better vineyard for it, or 
if it seems good to you, I will give you its value and money. But Nabut said to Ahab, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral inheritance. Ahab went home resentful and sullen because of what Nabut, the Jezreel, Jezreelite, had said to him. For he sa had said, I will not give you my ancestral inheritance. He lay down on his bed, turned away his face, and would not eat. His wife, Jezebel, came to him and said, Why are you so depressed that you will not eat? He said to her, Because I spoke to Naboth, the Jezreelite, and said to him, Give me your vineyard for, for money, or else, if you prefer, I will give you another vineyard for it. But he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, Do you now govern Israel? Get up, eat some food, and be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. So she wrote a letter in Habs name and sealed them with a seal. She sent the letters to the elders and the nobles who lived with Nabut in his city. She wrote in the letters, proclaim a fast and seat Nabut at the head of the assembly. See two scoundrels oppose him and have them bring a charge against him saying, you have cursed God and the king, then take him out and stone him to death. The men of the, his city, the elders and the nobles who lived in his city, did as Jezebel had sent word to them. Just as it, as it was written in the letters that she had sent to them, they proclaimed a fast and seated Nabut at the head of the assembly. The two scoundrels came in and sat opposite him, and the scoundrels brought a charge against Nabut in the presence of the people, saying, Nabut cursed God and the king. So they took him outside the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent to Jezebel, saying, Nabut has been stoned. He is dead. As soon as Jezebel heard that Nabut had been stoned and was dead. Jezebel said to Ahab, Go, take possession of the vineyard of Nabut, the Jezreelite, which he refused to give you for money. For Nabut is not alive but dead. As soon as Ahab heard that Nabut was dead, Ahab set out to go down to the vineyard of Nabut, of Jezreelite, to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy the promise made to our forebearers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The second reading is taken from Acts chapter 15, verse 36, to chapter 16, to verse 5. 
After some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Come, let us return and visit the believers in, the, in every city where we proclaim the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. Barnabas wanted to take with them John called Mark, but Paul decided not to take with them one who had deserted them in Panphila and had not accompany, accompanied them in the work. The disagreement became so sharp that they parted company. Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and set out, the believers commending him to the grace of the Lord. He went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. Paul went on also to Reb and to Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of the Jews, woman of a Jew woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the believers in Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and called him circumcised because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went from town to town, they delivered to them and delivered to them for obs observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and the elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in numbers daily. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word had been fulfilled. My own eyes had seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that you, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. 
defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. The Collect Proper 19 O oh God, because without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who, reign, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, creator of day and night, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, Bestowing upon us occasions of song in the evening, as you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in the coming night. Free us from evil, sin, and fear, for you are our light and salvation and the strength of our life. To you be glory for endless ages. Amen. Guide us, Lord, in all our doing with your gracious favor, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works, began, continue, and end in you, we may glorify your holy name, and by your mercy attain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have promised to hear the prayers of those who ask in your Son's name. We pray that what we have asked faithfully, we may obtain effectively. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.